This is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. like it, Jim. It was water here a couple days ago. There's that cloud in the sky. Yeah, what if it was with this heat it'd just hang here and fade off into dust? Hey, you better save that. It's the only water you'll find between here and the ranch. Yeah, ain't even a breeze so a man can take a breath. Well, Pete, I think there's only one thing to do. That's to haul water in from the lake. We ain't got any equipment to do that, Jim. Sure we have. Those empty steel drums you've been piling behind the barn for months. But it'll take half a day just to fill the water troughs. Well, at least it'll keep the horses from dying of thirst. We better get started. Well, that sun keeps blazing down like this, the whole countryside will dry up and blow away. I don't ever remember such a long time without rain, Pete. Get out, fill them other two drums. What's the matter with the pump? Ah, the well's dry and we're wearing ourselves out hauling water. Yeah, but it's got to be done. Why don't we move the herd up to that new pasture land you bought last spring? Then we can water the stock at the lake. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, and I'm just liable to do it if this drought gets any worse. Morning, Jim. Pete. Hi. Morning, Bill. What brings you up here? A uh, fire hazard. We're clearing the entire area. I'm going to need some of your men. Oh, look, I'm working a little short-handed right now. I know. But the woods are full of hunters. You know what that means. Yeah, guns and matches. Well, how many men do you need? Oh, enough to cover the area out through the north end. Hey, look! Joey, put out that fire. I was only testing my new fire maker. Well, Joey, this whole range is as dry as tinder. And playing with that thing is like putting a match to a stick of dynamite. Well, Jim's right, Joey. Every forest fire started from a small flame. Like the one you just made. Golly. Tell you what, Joey. How'd you like to help me put out fires instead of starting them? I sure would, Mr. Bill. <laughs> then I'll appoint you a junior ranger. Golly, you mean it's a badge and everything? <laughs> you bet. And to remind you what that badge means, here's a picture of the official ranger mascot, Smokey Bear. <laughs> Mr. 
Gee, thanks, Mr. Bill. Well, look, I'll get a patrol started right away. Oh, fine. I'm going out the North End Road to stop any more hunters from coming in. Can I go with you? Well, it's all right with Jim. Okay, Joey, just as long as you're back by lunch. Okay, Jim, I'll race you there. Come on, Joey, we gotta get to the North End first. one horse the automobile will never replace. <laughs> Here you are, Joey. Post this over on that sign for me, will you? Sure, Mr. Bill. KSM to Lost Hill Tower. KSM to Lost Hill Tower. Lost Hill Tower to KSM. Go ahead, Bill. Thompson, I'm at the uh, checkpoint at North End Road. How are things where you sit? Same as yesterday. Hot, dry, and dangerous. I saw Jim Newton's patrol head out a few minutes ago. Not right. And by the way, we've got a new recruit. Joey Newton. Joey! I just made him a junior ranger. I guess he'd like to report in, too. You just push that down, right there. That's right. Junior Ranger Joey Newton reporting. Me and my horse, Fury. We're out here on the North End Road helping Ranger Bill Rogers. Glad to have you with us, Ranger. I'll tell headquarters you're on the job. Tower to KSM, out. That's how we sign off, Joey. Now, I want to show you something every junior ranger should take to heart. God gave us this. Don't you give us this. Gee, I hate to see anything like that. And you never would if people would just follow these simple rules. Break your matches. Crush your smokes. Drown your campfires. Be careful with every fire. Gee, if everyone would remember those things, there wouldn't be any more forest fires. Right, Joey. Now I want you to take a look at this one. A junior ranger should memorize everything it says. You mean all those words? And those are more than just words, Joey. And it's every American's duty to live up to them. I give my pledge as an American to save and faithfully to defend from waste the natural resources of my country. Its soil and minerals, its forest, waters, and wildlife. Gosh, that makes you feel good inside. <laughs> Feeling that way will make a real ranger out of you, Joey. Take it to school with you and show it to the kids. I sure will. I'll make them learn the rules, too. Here comes somebody. What's the matter, Ranger? Uh, sorry, sir, you're in a closed fire area. You'll have to turn back. Turn back? We came up here to go hunting. I know, but the fire hazard is extreme, sir. We're requesting everyone to leave. How do you like that? After I spent all kinds of dough to get the kid and myself up here, now we gotta turn around and go back. Why don't you announce it or put it in the newspapers? The order came through only this morning, sir. Believe me, it's for your own safety as well as the conservation of the land. Well, all right. I suppose you're the boss. Uh, looks like another car. Come on, Joey. Pop, you're not gonna let that guy talk you out of it, are you? Well, the ranger's a law up here, son. We gotta do as he says. But you promised! You said I'd be able to use my new gun. Well, all right, we'll drive down the road a ways and we'll pack in. Guess it won't hurt anything. Come on, get in. I'm sorry, sir, but that's how things are. I tell you, you can go right up the road and turn around to that tree there. Holy! I never knew so many people from the city came up to go hunting. Everybody likes to get out and enjoy the open, Joey. Say, isn't it getting on about lunchtime? Yeah, it's time you're back at the broken wheel. Yes, sir. Can I come back this afternoon? I'll be here. Do you want another one? No, thank you, son. I'm still working on this one. You know, if we can only bag a deer, I'll fix you a real barbecue. We'll get one, Pa. You'll mm. see. Hey! What are you 
Put that fire out! Yeah? Who says so? I do! Ha! Who are you, the fire department or something? The ranger back in the room said there wasn't any hunting, and especially fires. Hey, cut that out! Yeah, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on here now. Pop, you can all let no, him... Now, quiet, Tommy. Now, look, boy, we're not bothering anybody here. That don't matter, mister. Ranger Bill said you're not even supposed to be here. We're just fixing a bite to eat. I'm sorry, but you have to put that fire out and leave. One spark could burn the whole forest down. Well, I guess the boy's right. We might as well go. Come on. Hey, what about the fire? You forgot to put it out. Put it out yourself. Now break your matches or about your smokes and drown your fires. Now remember that when you're in the woods by yourself. You understand? I'm glad you didn't let that guy talk you out of it, Pop. I want at least one shot at it, dear. Shoulder. That came from over there. Pa, I think I hit him. Uh, you see the way he took off? We'd have to have wings to catch him. Yeah, but if he was wounded, maybe we won't be able to run far. Well, maybe you're right. Might get him yet. Anyway, it's worth a try. Hill Tower to all units. Fire is broken out on Pine Ridge. Repeat, fire is broken out on Pine Ridge. Stand by for azimuth reading. Uh, uh, looks like he got away. Yeah, we might as well head back to the car. Tommy. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Hang on. Hang on to me. I think the car's over that way. Bill Rogers. Yes, Thompson. I just 
saw Joey Newton in the fire area. The way the wind is changing, there's a good chance you'll never get out alive. Pete, we have a prayer saving the ranch. Get the stock out of here and up to the new pasture. The what about the furniture and the other stuff? Well, haul out whatever you can and put it in the new house that's up there. Okay, Jim. Yeah? Yes. What? What's that? Get that stock out of the corral. Clean out the tack room, Harry. Al, you start moving the furniture out of the house. All right, thanks, Thompson. Where are you going, Jim? Joey's in the fire. Why? I thought he was a bill. So did I. I'm going with you. No, you stay here and do what I told you. Come on. Come on, help cut that break to those trees. Come on, let's go. Bill! Bill! Any sign of Joey? What about Joey? The word. I'm going after him. Well, you'll never make it. That place is tied well, I gotta try! Jim! Call you back in a minute.
You can't make it, Jim. Now, come on back out. Sorry, Jim. Maybe he got out the other side. Jim! Jim! The ranch is gone! The minute you save it. What happened to you? I'm all right. Where's Joey? <coughs> Look! My boy! He's in there! Save him! That makes two of them. <coughs> it was my fault! My fault! I should never have gone in there in the first place. I lit a cigarette and tossed it away. You fuck, Jim! Jim, I want to tell you, Jim! Take it. Easy, Jim. Jim. No. He's paying for what he's done. Oh, my God. Tradition, Jim. You know, I'm going to have to report you to headquarters, Joey, for action above and beyond the call of duty. Don't forget to mention Fury. Don't look back, Joey. Look ahead. There's our new home. Boy, does that look swell. 